Start an unprecedented times. Obviously, the game was off on Saturday. What was your view on that here? Um, I didn't really have a view either way, to be honest. I think I expected it to be postponed because I do believe that was respectful. Um, I would have probably liked to have seen the whole sporting world to come together, and you know, if one sport's off, they should all be off, especially in this country. But I do think it was also an opportunity to, to pay the respects and you've seen with the cricket and the Formula One, it was a, a brilliant show of appreciation for somebody that served our country for so many years. We'll have our chance to do that in a home game on Saturday a little bit more, but we do play on Tuesday night, so again, that'll be the first opportunity for football and our supporters to show that, show that appreciation, and I'm sure they will do. Yeah, and look, whether you're a fan of the monarchy or not, um, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. What you must do is respect somebody that sacrificed so much for, for the the people in our country and the Commonwealth for, for 70 odd years. I mean, it's, it's an incredible achievement and we'll be very respectful on Tuesday and it's a great opportunity for football to, to show an outpouring of love and appreciation. On a practical note, you were training Friday morning with a view to going to Cheltenham and, and then that was called off. Yep. But you trained Saturday because you've got another game to prepare for and you, and you have, to, have to keep working and, and being... But we're professionals and, and that's what we do. Um, we're prepared for all circumstances. We've seen a lot in this world the last few years with, with the pandemic and now the loss of our Queen that um, things can change in life really quickly and you almost almost have to expect the unexpected at times. Um, but we have a duty that we're, we're always professional and we're always ready to play and we're ready to play for tomorrow night. Yeah, was it quite odd preparing for one game on, Saturday, on Friday morning, one type proposition and then 24 hours later you're suddenly preparing for a totally different thing? Yeah, look, um, we'd plan for the three games and obviously the teams were picked accordingly. There would have been significant changes on, on Saturday um, to the team to keep us fresh because we have to be energetic in the style of play we play. Um, but obviously that wasn't the case and wasn't to be, so now we're preparing for, for MK, a different challenge, and the team will be picked accordingly. It is a different challenge. They're slightly different animals so far this season. I think you feel the same. That was one of the few games you lost in the run-in last year, but I think you, you feel you, they will see a different Bolton Wanderers team on Tuesday night. Yeah, I mean, I think their idea is the same. What they're trying to do is the same. Obviously, they've, they've lost some really good personnel, which would be, and it would affect any team, really. Um, they've embedded a lot of new players, and they're getting used to the system and, and the manager's ideas. Um, but we think fundamentally it'll be the same. Um, what we've done is improved out of possession. I think our first half an hour there, towards the end of last season, we were poor and our, and our pressing strategy was wrong. I think we're a different animal now out of possession and hopefully we can go and show that tomorrow night. It feels quite a long time ago now, but you're going into it on the back of a very good win and a very good performance against Charlton, of course, aren't you? Yeah, it does feel a long time ago now. Um, as I said, a lot's happened this week and what we've done is, is really work the players on on improving all aspects of our game but especially the moments in both boxes I mean how you recreate that is really difficult because it's a chaotic moments chaos situations we've tried to do that come up with sessions that improve and practice that and yeah hopefully you'll see that this week and personnel wise I know you're expecting Jan back in training this week has he got a chance for Tuesday or rush him back? Uh, Jan's back training he trains Saturday but not fully he'll train fully today um, throwing him in tomorrow night after one training session would be a risk we'd want him to have a, probably a four weeks training before we reintegrate him into the team on Saturday. So just finally it's been a strange time for the country it will be for the next week or so but as you say your professional focus is on football and, and yep. we go again tomorrow night. No it has to be that's that's our job so that's what we're paid to do and we're ready and fully focused for tomorrow night obviously it's as I said before a great opportunity for, for us as a football club to, to pay our respects to the Queen.